faith without works is dead. They always throw in that up in the book of James, which I just love the book of James. I don't have any problem with it because if you look at the first part of uh, the book of James, it says it's addressing it to brethren. <laughs> you know, uh, brethren, brothers and sisters, the uh, whole New Testament is addressed to brethren not to dead alien sinners. Uh, that first video I put up about uh, there's none that seeketh after God. Well, the reason they don't seek after God is because they're dead before the miraculous new birth takes place. That's the reason. But uh, uh, the posers out there that uh, pretend to know the Word of God, I'm, I'm talking about God's people and uh those that are working for the other side, the uh, the uh, the cronies for the devil, uh, are out there putting out the, something to do gospel, the cart before the horse gospel. They mix up uh, uh, saved eternally with saved in this present evil world. Texts that talk about, that are talking about that. I'll tell you, for instance. Uh, David and Saul. David and Saul. He, David wouldn't uh, wouldn't touch God's anointing. Now here we have an example of a child of God that wasn't uh, conducting himself <laughs> uh, in the way he should have. He left this world, like I say, most unceremoniously. Saul fell on his own sword. Uh, he he had uh, lost in the battle down here in this present evil world, yet he was a child of grace. All through the Bible, they have uh, fallible men. Uh, 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 Samson, you know, fa fallible men. That God uh, had in his family, those that he loves. So no, I don't have any problem with uh, the uh, James where he talks about faith without works is dead. He's addressing that to children of God. Uh, there wouldn't be any need for it in there if it wasn't a possibility that God's people uh, uh, fell short of uh, uh, the glory of God in their conduct upon this earth. Faith without works is dead? Of course, it sure is. I believe that. But later on there, James said, he said, I believe it says, if you're offending one point, you're guilty of all. So I like that part where he's talking about, you know, God's people that offend in thought, word, and deed, in their conduct, in their everyday life, yet they are children of grace nonetheless. It's always the audience, you know, the uh, the think they know it posers out there that, uh, that they'll come up and say I know the Bible I believe every word of it and they'll just thump it down and they'll wave it in front of your face yet they don't understand uh, anything about it first you have to brothers and sisters God shows you by the hard knocks of life that you're nothing but uh, a child of grace saved by grace not of works, lest any man should boast. They boast about this seminary. Boast about this. I've done this. I've done that. But uh, if they're a child of God, uh, and they are here, they're around here long enough, God, ha you know, God has mercy on them to reveal some truth to them. Uh, they're gonna find out that uh, they're fallible men and women of. Uh, men and women who have been tricked by the devil into thinking that there is a works well that have been tricked by the devil to thinking they're, they're not dead in trespass and sin but they're alive you know, they're, you know they have the, uh, the ability to make it a decision for Christ or they can open their own heart circumcise their own heart or 
they authored their own faith. No, brother, sister. I'm going to tack this on to the other one because I thought about James, where James says, uh, uh, faith without works is dead, and certainly it is, brother, sisters. Uh, but it doesn't say, that's not talking about a person's eternal destiny because he's addressing brethren in the book of James. And if it were no possibility that, uh, that men should... Uh, sin with their tongue it wasn't a possibility it wouldn't be in there so it's possible that we sin it's an unruly member our tongue is but so. so that's what i see in the book of james but i love the book of james because there's all kind of good stuff in there but uh, the uh poser uh, want to be uh uh preachers out there supposed preachers out there all they see is a something to do when they look in that book and a, and a way to put some bondage on the child of grace. I'm going to get out of here and, uh, and ring this one up for, uh, and put this on up maybe later on today. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. And this older man down here in Alabama who never grew up. <laughs>